Um, we are going to stay with a COVID-related topic, but with a bit of a twist. Nicki Minaj is getting roasted for tweeting that her cousin's friend in Trinidad became impotent and suffered swollen testicles after receiving a COVID vaccine. The claims are completely false. I want to repeat that. They are completely false. Trinidad and Tobago's health minister came out publicly to shoot them down. He said no such side effects have been reported. So here's the question. Does a celebrity's views on vaccines change the way you feel about them? Oh, my gosh, 110,000 million percent. I know that's not a real number. <laughs> um, you know, this is a little different. You know, it's one thing to find out that, um, you know, I don't know, your favorite uh, celebrity do doesn't want to vote, which is, you know, that's a problem. Uh, but maybe it's not going to make or break your life. Mm -hmm. This is really serious business. And a lot of people have, have said that as much as they love Nicki Minaj and her music, it was such an irresponsible move for many reasons, because the United States, as we know, it's on fire with COVID. They're just, you know, the deaths are pushing 670,000 people. I mean, the number is ast just astronomic. They're having a really hard time getting that last push of people to get vaccinated for hesitancy, anti-vaxxers. So to have such a celebrity, which people might think, oh, it's a celebrity. Don't take what she says seriously. Unfortunately, with all her platforms, she's got well over 100 million mm -hmm. followers who do love her and adore her and listen to her. And in many cases may listen to her vaccination report over like the Center for Diseases, uh, D Disease Control, or even like Dr. Fauci. So oh. this was really irresponsible because again, it's not just... It's peddling conspiracy theories, which, by the way, many people have said, probably STIs, Nikki, but hey, mm. it's that people could actually die. In Trinidad, it's only 35% of the population that's fully vaccinated. That's really low. So if there are fans of hers from there, what are you going to do? It's really, really scary. People were making fun it's, of that anecdote of being like, I know someone. It's yes. like someone saying like, <laughs> well, my brother got vaccinated and then the next day his wife left him. So come well, on. Like, okay, like, I know my cousin. I researched it, you yeah. know. My it's, cousin's husband's friend. Like you always know that if somebody's oh, saying like this kind of distant yeah. thing that probably there's some misinformation in there. But does it, does it depend on the cele celebrity and your relationship with them? Like, I don't go to Nicki Minaj for any information. I totally agree with you about the idea that of her platform and spreading false information. But just on a personal level, I, can, I think I can still enjoy Nicki and I can still enjoy someone like Kanye's music. But it comes, when it comes to a celebrity that I'm somehow deeply invested in for no reason, like if I found out Matt and Ben you know, we're like anti-vaxxers. I'd have to burn my Goodwill hunting lunchbox. But that's an interesting question. You know? Jess, it's an interesting question for sure. And I think that it's a question that like the celebrity culture and the people who cover it, like me, are are really fascinated by right now because it's, it's coming up a lot. Like it came up recently, for instance, Jess, um, you remember a few weeks ago when Jeopardy, I know it's been a whole mess there too, but... Yeah. Je Jeopardy announced that Maya Bialik was the celebrity guest host and she would do, be doing the tournaments. And right away, because celebrity is an information and fact-based show, people were like, wait a minute, I think we remember Maya Bialik being anti-vax. And she had to come out and say, no, 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 I am pro-vax. But people were digging up some things that she had said in the past in her book and whatnot about her stance on vaccinations. So it is affecting like the Hollywood landscape. Consider too that at these events, and Mel, we were just talking about this with Nicki Minaj, this conversation came out because she wasn't at the Met Gala because there was a vaccination requirement at the Met Gala. The next big event that's coming up is the Emmys. They're on Sunday. There is a vax requirement plus a negative COVID test on top of it. So there's going to be more speculation. If a nominee doesn't show up and like an Emmy is like the biggest deal, right? Mm -hmm. if, it, if a nominee doesn't show up, well, you got to ask why. And those of us are having, who are having side conversations on our phone on the group chat being like, um, is so-and-so not Vax? Is that why they're not there? That is coming up a lot mm -hmm. in, you know, celebrity culture. And I think it's really interesting. We're going to see more of it because the pandemic is nowhere near over.